Hey guys, it's here bringing you another video. Now, welcome back to Unranked to Diamond, the series that we take a Smurf account, fresh account, never paid rank before, and show you the adventure to Diamond. Uh, now, we return to the series Platinum 1 18 LP, um, and we're playing jungle today, so we're changing it up because we've been playing a lot of mid and a little bit of AD carry recently, so I was like, yeah, let's just do something different. Um, but yeah, so jungle, I want to play Hecarim. People have been asking me, can you play Hecarim for quite some time? And also, I want to just play it myself. You know, that's kind of the general rule of thumb nowadays is I'm not going to play something that I'm like, I just don't want to play that. But if it's kind of like parallel that you guys want me to play it and I want to play it, then I'm, I'm going to play it. Uh, it's pretty much that simple. So Hecarim, he has his strengths, basically. He can snowball amazingly well. He's strong in most aspects of the game. He has an okay early game if you're allowed to actually get on people. Um... I think I'm going to ban Nidalee. Oh, no, no, Nidalee's already been banned. Um, but yeah, he's a la if he can get on people in the early game, he does a lot of damage. If he can get to people in mid or late game, he can, like, one-shot an AD carry. Hmm, what to ban? Um, I might just get rid of... Vlad. Vlad, I don't know. People are playing him a little bit more because of worlds, and he's annoying. Uh, let's go go so Hecarim is one of the very few champions that I run ghost on again If you've been watching this series for a while, you'll know that I'm like I, I value flash very highly But ghost is just perfect for Hecarim, you know, he actually gains attack damage the faster he's running so It's just natural that ghost is the best thing for him Obviously, I would say if there's a Jarvan or something on the enemy team that something can actually lock you down Then yeah, maybe take flash. It might be a little bit better. Obviously. Yeah, you have your ultimate to get out but if you've burned your ultimate and you don't have fl uh, don't have flash, then you are stuck in a Jarvan ultimate, which isn't a fun thing. Um, so yeah, all right. So locks for the enemy team. They have got LeBlanc and Jace. That'll be LeBlanc mid and Jace top, most likely. On my team, we've got the Jinx and the uh, Nivea, with her name actually being Glacial Burst. So I imagine she's actually a big Nivea player. And as a, an Nivea player myself, Nivea can play versus LeBlanc fairly easy. And Nivea is actually one of the few mid laners that can beat a LeBlanc uh, in the early game. So uh, hopefully with her being an Anivia main, most likely with her name, uh, she'll do well. Alistair right now has TP. Uh, if he doesn't change within the next, you know, 10 seconds, 10, 15, I'll probably point it out to him. Um, but yeah, I think this comp still, horse is probably a good thing because I can just jump onto any of these people because they're all kind of squishy. Okay, so... Hmm. Our team comp has a lot of CC already. I'm just going to say, Ali, you got TP. Um, because think about it. You've got a Mal's, like, R. You've got an Alistair knock-up. You've got an Anivia that has her Q, uh, among other things, slows and stuff. And a Jinx has chompers. Like, damn. If we get ahead, they are not going to be able to do anything. And, I'm, yeah, I'm going to go Hecarim because I think I can just, like, run rampant. If I get ahead on Hecarim and my team has this amount of CC, I can just ult in and just one-shot things for fun. That's what I'm thinking. Anyway, all right, so at least, yeah, I'm going to go Hecarim. Let's do it. And the cool thing, I have not played Hecarim so far in the series, but I actually unlocked Arcade Hecarim a long time ago in the Hextech Uncrafting series. Um, so we get to use that today. So I've got specific runes on him. Not perfect, but they, they do a little bit. I've got movement speed in there. And then I'm going Strength of the Ages with just a little bit of damage. So anyway, there you go. Team comp's locked in. I'd say our team comp is actually better, slightly. As long as Malzahar doesn't feed to a Jace, yeah, I, I think our comp is good. So anyway, let's go into the loading screen where we break down today's game. Okay, welcome to the loading screen. This is where I use the website lolskill.net. Now, as you can see, the enemy team have a 52.2% chance to win. Uh, but let's break it down. They have a Platinum 1 Jace with a negative win rate, a Platinum 1 Lucian, a Platinum 1 LeBlanc, Platinum 3 uh, Lise, and a Platinum 1 Leona. Looks to be a Leona main. On my team, a Platinum 1 Jinx, a Diamond 5 Elise main, uh, a Nivea main, sorry, Platinum 2 uh, Alistair, Platinum 2 Malzahan, a Platinum 1 Hecarim. So the enemy team, yeah, they have a percentage chance to win, probably because two of my team, including myself, have not played our champions on these accounts. So Jinx has not played Jinx in rank this season, and I have not played Hecarim on this account this season that's just going to give them the win percentage um so just looking at the enemy team weak links it's straight away the jace having a negative win rate maybe he knows how to get strong in jace but maybe he doesn't know how to transition that into a win so that could be a lane that i could try and camp especially when malzah harlitz hits level six because he has his ultimate to root him down and that's a free gank for me uh, enemy team as well elise has got a good win rate but doesn't look to get crazy fed so maybe she just looks for like cocoons and stuff like that and doesn't go that aggressive. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's get into the game. We'll be playing uh, Hecarim. 
Okay, welcome to today's game. So today we're playing uh, the horse, the unicorn, the robot unicorn um, in League of Legends. The the song always, I want to be with you, make dreams with you, whatever. That was good. Oh, let's -a go, let's -a go. Okay, I just got completely owned because I had no backup. Come on, we can still win this fight even though I died. They should still be able to get a kill. They should flash for this. Like, get one kill at least. Come on. So what happened there? Oh, that was a bad flash by Anivia. She got caught on the corner. Okay, so what happened there is we had an amazing five-man combo. All right, so we should never have lost that. We had a five-man Alistair queue. We had an Anivia that I think hit four people. And then I went in the middle and was queuing stuff. And uh, I still died. I am fairly squishy in the early game. But a lot of that was due to I was just there by myself, practically. Was it a good idea? I think I had to be there, to be honest. If I wasn't there, then people would have been like, you know, why weren't you in the middle, Hecarim? You know, you're an AoE helicopter. So, yeah, I don't know. That kind of sucked. My cam was moving all around the map. Ah, so Anivia might have been the one that kind of mucked that up. But I thought she hit four man, but maybe she didn't. All right, thanks very much. That was a really good pull. Holy moly. Um, okay, so Jace has one kill. Again, I don't think uh, Jace is going to wreck a Malzahar. Like, I, I, I play Malzahar occasionally if I'm not confident in a matchup. I'll jump on Malzahar because you can pretty much survive versus anything. Like, if in doubt, just max your W and get the lane to push. Like, it's that simple. Maybe I should have burnt Ghost because I would have had more AD for the actual Qs. Mm, that's something I could have done. Well, the more you think about stuff, the more you learn. Okay, let's move everybody around, though, on our way over. So, all of them got an assist, obviously, and then Jace got the kill. So, he just got an extra long sword. So, it's not that big of a deal, as long as he does okay in top lane. Which, it looks like Jace is actually nearly dead. And he has no flash, remember, so I can go up for a gank in a second. Okay. You should just try to get um, poison or something on him. There we go. So that first blood is now... Well, it's it's not worth because obviously they had four assists, but... Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What the hell? You're kidding me. That is a crazy aggressive Elise. Holy moly. She's even just taking this now. Alright. They want to dive him. I'm not staying. Sorry, dude. I'm going back. He should live. Like, he shouldn't die. No, that's bad. Alright, I'm waiting for, um... Machete. Mm, I wonder what happened to Jinx. Maybe she just got Leona Eid. Uh, she went cull. I never like seeing AD carries go cull. I don't know why. It just shows lack of confidence to me. I don't know why. Always has, really. That could be a dead blonde. No, no. Yeah, I can't really get onto a LeBlanc that easily. Oh, God. Where the hell is the Anivia? Seriously, she didn't die. We needed one more to attack from Anivia there. God damn, that should have been a free kill. Ugh. She does have teleport, so she can go back and buy. Oh god. I'm on my way. It's no Whoa, your health, Jay. She was just running in without a care in the world then. I don't know if this Jinx has amazing positioning, because that's what we just saw. Maybe that's how she died like, earlier. Is that she just went back in and then got CC'd. 
that was a bit dodgy just then. Okay, I'm going to do this, go back, and then buy and look for a gank again. Hmm. Again, at level 6, I think I'm going to go top lane quite a bit. I think it's just free. Even at like level 6, this should be kind of free in mid lane. Because um, all Anivia has to do really is land her Q. And she should be dead. Um, should I go bot lane? Nah, it's in a bad position for me to gank. It's like in the middle of the lane. She's getting CC'd. Alistair? Hello? AFK support, apparently. I would have just CC'd the Leona there, to be honest. So, who would I blame in that situation? Well, it's both of their fault. Jinx were one being too close to them, but Alistair's like AFK, so... There's not a lot you can do as an AD carry if your support is back at the tower. Like, yeah. So I would kind of blame both of them. Alright, let's just mute this Alistair. He's that type of person. He's AFK and then starts raging. Ugh. And the thing is, the Alistair would be that type of person that doesn't see the fault in his play. He's like, oh, Jinx, you died. What the hell? When he's not there. Okay, so they're going for the tower. Holy moly. So LeBlanc is obviously like a, a known to be an early roaming uh, mid laner. Maybe not that early roaming, but yeah, I would just back off if I were you. So I'm just trying to rush to level six right now because I think that's where I'm going to be most useful. Because the map at the moment is getting a little bit wrecked. And I just don't have great ganking opportunities. Not yet. When I'm level 6, I can maybe look for a Lucio. But god, he's 202 already. Should be level 6 after blue and then Grom. I think I'm going to take the first blue just to hit level 6. Alistar, I'd say, is given up with bot lane. But this actually could lead to him just feeding. Because he's really weak right now. Oh, she's taking that. But yeah, he's really weak right now. So if he looks for a gank and then just like goes in a little bit too much, you can just die. Um, so Malz is level 6. So if I go red, I'm just trying to think what I can do. If I go red, then go top lane, then maybe I should go for a kill on him with ult, with Malz ult. Lucian wants to do that. Are they doing it? Oh, for God's sake, this Jinx is just feeding now. She needs to stop feeding. Again, like I say, if you're not having a great game, it's fine. Everybody has bad games, but just don't feed. It's like rule number one. It, it, even if it means that you're not going to have a lot of CS, don't have a lot of CS. It's better not to give them a million kills. Because giving them a million kills, it gives them the, the morale boost, you know. I got them an assist. Wow. Like, I know there are people that have problems and stuff, but you got to be have like a brain dead IQ to react that way. So I'm getting fed. It, we'll see if I can carry. It, there's a good chance I can. You know, if, if you've been watching Unranked Diamond recently, especially the stream episode, 100, episode 190, there were two games um, in that um, stream that there were Hecarims that were just stupidly fed. And the one game we lost due to a Hecarim that he just carried. Like, he just did kill people, he didn't die, he just carried. And then the other game, we did beat him, but it was really close. Uh, and again, it was a, it was a strong Hecarim. So, we'll see. Like, there will be a limit of how much I can carry. Because, like, you know, I'm going the... Um, I, I don't know if I should go Warrior or Cinder Hulk. Most people are going the Cinder Hulk Triforce build on Hecarim right now. Which I think I'm going to do. The first boots and then build into Cinder Hulk. After Cinder Hulk, it's going to be straight into a Triforce. Um, it's just his strength right now. Oh, she just got directly hit by that Leona ultimate. Yo, Alistair? Hello? This guy must be trolling. 
He's just AFK every now and then, like, not doing anything for the team. Probably just raging in chat, I'd imagine. That's a, that's a really good kill. Yo. You got her flash. I'll take it. Alright, I'm coming, bot lane. Ooh. Ooh, pink ward. Can I run him down? Probably. Hey. Hey, he's not looking. Are you kidding me? Jesus. He, I did, if I had, um... If I had flat, um, smite up, he was dead, or if I had ghost up, he was dead, and I had neither up right there. That really sucks. Because that was a that would have been a shutdown. Did he just rage? Because I muted him, so I don't know what he's typing. He, he would seem the type to rage quit, to be honest. I always think, like, if they DC, maybe they didn't, but... Considering what he was doing in chat earlier, he would be the type to rage quit. Let's be honest. That shouldn't happen. So yeah, every lane is pretty much lost so far. This is disappointing. So this is when you see, like, I'm jungling, and there's a limit a jungler can do. It's why I always say, never expect your jungler to win your lane for you. That's not what the jungler is for. A jungler is there to help you, not win the game for you. A jungler is like a bonus, if anything. Um, but yeah. This is just the fact that every lane is lost, practically. Like, mid's doing okay, but there's just no pressure in mid lane. Um, but it's just, yeah, there's a limit I can do when people are just dying quite a bit already. She's pinging help mid, but then not looking top lane. Like, I can't just ignore this. God, he is so fed. Jesus, does so much damage. Why no one cares. They do care, but they have a, a limit of how quick they can run a Nivea. Oh, that could be a kill. Damn, she's low. That's happened a few times this game that people are just really low. That sucks. So yeah, I, I am in the party now that I think Alistair did rage quit. Um, and maybe he's just a little bit too emotional, unstable for League of Legends. And that's a thing, you know, I don't want to rage out on people that AFK. I, I believe if you're somebody that AFKs often, you don't deserve to play League, especially ranked. Um, because you literally ruin the game for people. There's nothing you can do with an AFK. I can deal with a rager, I just mute them. Like the other if he just raged the rest of the game, he's back. That's fine. We'll continue to talk a little bit about it. But if you are somebody that AFKs often, don't play League. It's not the game for you. And I think there's a lot of people that fit that bracket that they just probably just shouldn't play this game. Like, I'm going to say it, but like maybe Overwatch is a better game for you because it's competitive, but it's just a bit more casual. Yeah. Oh. It's a good shutdown, at least. I think if, I don't know, if we get to late game, we might be able to win. Because like, again, our team has a really good lockdown. So, if we protect this Jinx, I'll be there in a second in mid lane. I don't think they're going to die. Um, if we can protect this Jinx, then we might have a good chance of winning. Is he going to get out in time? He could stay. No, he's not going to. She's farming there. Could look for a kill on LeBlanc. So yeah, at the moment, I'm just kind of just thinking what I can do. Because I'm a bit scared, honestly, of the enemy team. Oh, no, 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 no. You're going way too deep. I don't trust this Alistair very much this game. Q? Hello? Trying to protect this guy like crazy. Could have Malzolted someone then. 
Uh, we can protect this tower. Like, 100% we can protect this tower. We can even kill them. Oh my god. Where's the Mal's ult? Mal's, use your ult. That was a free kill on Elise, but he just did not react. Why do people not react? Didn't go off. Probably because you need to press the button. Oh! Oh! That's a kill. That has to be. Has to be a kill. There we go. Hey, well, they're doing stuff, guys! They're doing stuff! Alright. Heal. It's a miracle. An ally has been and they're dead. <laughs> uh, they're so low. Never mind. They were doing stuff. If I can get there, maybe I can get a pick up a kill or two. We'll see. It just depends if they're going to overstay or not. Stay, Alistair. That was close. I didn't really want to take that kill, but Jinx could have died. So it's better not to let your AD carry die and just take the kill. Yeah, this is free. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I don't know why Anivia TP'd under a tower, I'm going to be honest. That was just asking to die. And then she says thank you. Just don't TP under a tower, maybe. That would be a great idea. I smite that just to get vision in her own jungle. So I would say it's it's gonna sound weird, and people are gonna go really. Yeah, I haven't seen a lot of skill from the LeBlanc so far in this game. Like she's got some kills, but I'm not that impressed by her. Like why? Where are we? We we. So I don't know. I think we're okay, because I I think we scale a bit better as long as people stop dying. It's, it's the key number one thing that you need to do if you're losing a game of League of Legends. Don't die. <sighs> How do they know we're here? We have a pink cord. Hmm. Weird. Oh, mama. You're dead again. Nobody? Mm, nope. Wait, did Mal's die? Mal's died again. Did Mal's die again when he hasn't even gone back? Like Jace hasn't even gone back. Does this guy play Mal's? He does. Oh, he feeds on Mal's usually. Okay, well there we go. Seriously? That's like the third time she's done that to me. If you didn't trade on lane, then you max W and it's easy. Like if you can't trade, you just max W. Okay, so this guy just doesn't know what he's doing then. Because that is it's free. Like I'm not even trying to be salty or anything here. It literally is free. I've played Malzar oh, again, he's the pick that I do if I'm not feeling confident. It's a free lane. He can lane against anything in the game. You max W, they can't do anything against you. And then he's also here. Negative Nancy. Yeah, damn it. Why did the, these people exist? It's like some people say, like, oh, I'm slightly negative in speaking. Yeah, but I am. I don't think I've ever said it's over in chat. Like, ever. Why? Because I'm never going to say that because it's never going to benefit me. It's never going to... Like, we've seen many turns in this series. If I said it's over in half of those, they won't be wins. You know, I'm here to win. I don't care about ego or... 
in a weird way to a slight degree happiness in a way like when I'm in game my happiness comes from winning and I'll do everything to get that win it's why I'll never get rages or anything like that because they just don't make sense to me if you want to win you'd, you'd never rage Maybe Anivia can carry, and then, like, I'm actually pretty strong myself. Like, not crazy strong, but I'm not doing bad compared to the rest of the guys. So, I don't know. We have a chance. It's not over. That's why you shouldn't say it's over. I don't have a hope, though. If no one dies, I swear to God, how didn't Ali <laughs> how didn't they die? <laughs> oh my God, they should have died more. Because the thing people don't realize is Hecarim Ultima actually damage travels a lot more than people think. Um. Oh. Oh no. The auto! I, she could have autoed if she didn't like AFK Rage. Oh my god, she. Uh, I hate people that do that. Keep paying attention to the end. This guy's just feeding like nuts. Still hasn't got an armor item. That would be a great idea, just saying. Oh, this game, man. Don't care. Don't give gold. You you still do. That whole theory of I don't give gold. You do because you're letting them free farm. Like you're one. You are still giving them gold, but secondly, you're just giving them the lane for free. So that whole philosophy of I'm not worth anything is completely idiotic. They've got that kill. Oh god. Oh, really? She went that way. We're actually making a small comeback. And again, I do believe our team comp is better than theirs the later this game goes on. So we'll see. When I have Triforce and Spirit Visage, I'm pretty goddamn tanky. And do decent damage. We can maybe look for this Lucio. Oh my god, so many pinks! Whoosh. At least we're clearing them though. I have to get that kill. Yeah. Why would you overstay on that health? That's so greedy from her. If you stop feeding, we might win. Alright, go back by Triforce. Alright, we're looking pretty good. I'm happy so far. Well, like, not happy happy, but like, content with the strength that I have. Which is good. If you know you're strong, then that's all you can really do. So, the, we have three okay strength people right now. Like, even though Jinx technically has a negative win rate, she's actually pretty strong. Like, we saw in Misfortune episode yesterday morning, or yesterday midday, Jinx, I wrecked Jinx in lane phase. Didn't matter. She just came back and was Jinx. Like, she's insane. My smite does 720. That was a really bad ultimate from me. Oh my god, what the hell CC'd me? I have no idea what just CC'd me. Okay, we should have won that fight, but people wimped out completely. Don't wimp. Yeah, Jinx completely wimped out. When they were all like on me, fighting me, there was no damage going on top of them whatsoever. That was just a lost W? 
But yeah, that was really dumb. Jinx completely wimped out them. They started running up here when they kept they, when they could have kept doing damage here. Oh, that sucks. Use your damage, people. If you're a damage dealer, you have to use your damage, otherwise you're gonna lose the game. That's the whole point of being a damage dealer. A few like rocket cues in the middle of that fight, that would have gone amazingly well. <sighs> I knew you should like not focus on the mouths probably He's just raging. Or being negative. No, you can have that. As long as you use your damage, then I'm fine with you having this stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah please. <laughs> Why nobody claps quicker? It's so low health, that tower. Look how squishy that LeBlanc is. She doesn't look squishy. It's better to be grouped than have teleport. Yes, the Malzahar doesn't agree. We should look for something. Oh, this is fine. That damage. I so need a spirit massage this game. Like, right now. God damn, I got exploded by her. Nivea I wouldn't go for anything. Yeah, they're just dying now. Going for that was a bit dumb. Keep queuing, keep queuing, keep queuing! No, she didn't auto again. When she was running away, if she autoed, Lucian was dead. She didn't auto. Does she play AD? Like, again, I don't mean to be too... Oh, she doesn't play Jinx. That's why. Okay, that makes sense. Like, again, people have said, oh, you like saying things that aren't happening. Maybe I'm seeing different things than you guys, especially when I'm in game. You guys are just watching a video. I can see, like, how people are reacting. This Jinx is not reacting very quickly to what's going on. Like, she's just not auto-attacking as much as she needs to as an AD carry. You'll see Lucian, he's auto-attacking as much as possible because he wants to do as much as damage as he can. Jinx is letting free auto-attacks just don't, like, not happen. She's running away, not auto-attacking. Which is a bit dumb, to be honest. I'm scared that they're doing Baron. They, do, they have a pink ward on it, which is telling me they might want to do it. Yep, they're doing it. <clears throat> Or want to, I think. Mel's is probably dead if he stays there. That's our tank. Hmm. Oh, that could have been an amazing five man queue. QSS. Ow. I think this game's over. I think there was just so much negativity in the early game when people were losing lanes. It just put people like in the not caring position. Like the Alistair raging started to not care. Obviously, he went AFK or DC'd or whatever for a while. Then it happened to. Damn, I wanted LeBonk as well. I wanted two of them. But then Malzahar has been raging for quite a while and just feeding the Jays. Like, it's just so much negativity has happened that it's very hard to just get this win. And then also, I just say, in teamfights, we didn't min-max. Like, we weren't using our damage effectively. Like, Jinx just wasn't auto-attacking enough. So, I don't know. Losses happen. It's it's completely fine. That there There's the main reasons why we lost. Like, early game, we lost. Um, which, you know, if you lose the early game, doesn't really matter. It happens. But if you let your head drop, like the Malzahar did especially, why are you playing ranked? Like, you're going to occasionally lose the early game. And just because that happens doesn't mean you just go, ah, game over. Like, that doesn't happen. Um, but anyway, we went 5, 6, 7. We got a B minus, 9.3k gold, 104 CS. And damage done. We did the, you know, average in our team or relatively. Like, there just wasn't a lot of damage going off. Like, you had comparing their Lucian and Jace to our team, they were just doing way more damage. 
We just got behind too much. Sucks. And again, I think a lot of this, and I've said it many times before, it's not mechanical skill that is holding players back. It's attitude. It's why I beat on about raging so much and people get annoyed by it, but it's true. Raging and negativity loses more games than mechanical skill ever will. Because this League of Legends, sure, it's a mechanical game. You've got to be good, lend your skill shots. But it's more about I'm not going to tilt or I'm not going to tilt my team or I'm not going to rage. That actually affects solo queue. Um, you know, when you get to the pro scene, obviously that's where mechanical skill is a big thing. Um, but not here. This is all about mentality. Because these players, like, even though the Malzahar played bad this game and Jinx wasn't auto-attacking, these players are probably still good players in their own right. But they just didn't put it all together. Uh, this game, at least. So anyway, if you did enjoy this video anyway, you learned a little bit more uh, about mentality and making sure your auto-attack is an AD carry, then throw a like on it. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys next time. See you.